It's time to make some mayonnaise. Now you guys can go to the store and buy mayonnaise like an idiot, or you can make your own. It's really simple. You can make a good bit. Just get yourself a nice jar like this. Yeah, make your mayonnaise in there. And all you're gonna need, two eggs. And you just want the um, the yolks. You don't want the whites. We need some salt, some sugar. You want some Dijon mustard. We're using Dusseldorf style mustard. And uh, we're also gonna use some aged white wine vinegar. And uh, that's the lime. You can also use a lemon if you don't like limes. You lime hater, go ahead. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're gonna need some oil. We've chosen sunflower oil because it has a non-offensive taste. It's very mild. You can also use olive oil and you can even mix olive oil and uh, you know sunflower oil or even, even vegetable oil if you're feeling, um, I guess, just particularly boring, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is crack an egg. And then we're gonna take the egg and uh, separate the white by doing this. You just wanna go back and forth with the egg from one half of the shell to the other and drain all the whites into a bowl. We're doing it this way into a bowl so that later on we can use those egg whites to make scrambled eggs. We're gonna add some to a couple other eggs and just, you know, fluff them up a bit. There we go, the first one going in. That is beautiful. We wanna put the eggs on the bottom. And the reason we're putting the eggs on the bottom is because the oil is going to go on top. And um, they're not going to mix until we force them to mix. And that is what makes the mayonnaise when you force them to mix. And we're gonna do that with a uh, the wizard, we call it. So, all right, now we have two eggs in here. Down there on the bottom, ooh, that's gross. That is gross. Ooh, look at the eggs. Be delicious. It better be delicious. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out some oil. And yes, we're gonna measure because if you get too much oil to egg ratio, it's gonna be oily and nobody wants oily mayonnaise. So for this, we're gonna need one and one half cups of oil. So there we go, that's, that's full to the top. It's gonna be dangerous. That is so dangerous. That's why you put the bottom in. Yeah, make sure that yeah, if the bottom's in, it can't drip. There we go, and you see how the egg on the bottom there? There we go, the egg is just like chilling there. So now we're gonna get a half. A half, she's just eyeballing a half here. All right, next up we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar to give it a kick. And uh, you know, you can use apple cider vinegar. Yeah, we're gonna measure out tablespoon of this. Bit of a kick. Vinegar is very important. All right, next up we're going to add a nice pinch of salt. Just, you know, to taste. If you're someone who likes it salty, you can add a little more, but we don't need that much in there. And we're going to get a tiny bit of sugar. Now, if you go to like, you know, freaking Walmart and buy their store brand or whatever, if you go to like, actually just most brands of, of mayo are going to have high fructose corn syrup. She says fructose. I say fructose because it sounds fucking disgusting. All right, next up we've got a lime here. A nice wedge of a lime. Now this is about a, a little less than a quarter of a lime, a nice small lime. We're gonna squeeze that into there. Um, also, you can do this with lemon. And this again is pretty much to taste. Usually one decent sized wedge is all you really need. And the last thing that we're going to do is add a spoonful of mustard. And we've got a small size spoon here, so that, about that much. And I like it you know, with, with kind of a kick, so I had a bit more than most, so. Yeah, what the hell, I have a little bit more. Also to taste. Freaking Dijon mustard, man, it's delicious. The only thing you really need to measure is the, um, the ratio of eggs to oil. Other than that, it's all to taste. All right, so here we have an immersion blender. Just put that in there on the bottom, and what you want to do is you want to pulse it at first, and, and you're going to well, see I this transformation. Like it gently, so yeah. you don't mix it. Yeah, you do not want it to start mixing until you're ready to freaking mix it. So now we're going to start pulsing this thing. Look at that magic. I think you're being conservative. She's just so, con she's way more conservative than I am. I mean, it's better to be safe and slow than sorry, but I get so impatient, I just like go all, all out. So be patient like this and be conservative. You can see we're getting some mayo forming in there. And the idea is to get all these veins of oil to go away. So as it starts to coagulate, you can move the immersion blender up just a little bit and pulse a little more. Move it around a little bit, pulse a little more. And if you wanted to fill up this jar, you can just double up the recipe. That is nasty.
you gotta support the top of this when you're picking it up because it can get quite thick and heavy. You don't want to tip your glass over. Ugh, it's disgusting. We have mayo. Hmm. Mayonnaise. Would you look at that mayonnaise? So are there some other options. If you guys wanted to get a little creative and make some like special mayo for dipping, you can add garlic to this process. You can add basil to this process. You can add cilantro to this process. You can add a lot of different things to this process. Even like maybe some dried sage or something or some roasted sage. Now this recipe here makes about two cups. Uh, we probably could have doubled this up and filled the jar up, but we don't go through it that fast. I mean, so it, it might have gone bad by the time we got around to it. And we're not using any preservatives in this like you get in the store other than the salt. But it's easy to make, and it only took us a little longer because we're making a freaking video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, you can bathe in mayonnaise.